Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'm going to share to you the struggles po of a working law student. If you are working and you're planning to go into law school, then I think this video is for you. If you're interested, please keep on watching. And by the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you subscribe. Or you can just simply click the click here in a circle down to my corner. So let's get to the video. Hi you guys and yes, welcome nga po to another video. So today po is, i-discuss ko po yung mga struggle na pwede nyo po ma-experience especially if you are a working student. And for those who don't know, I am po a full-time na employee ngayon sa college. I'm a college instructor teaching professional and major subjects. And at the same time, a first-year law student. So there are a lot of struggles po if you're going to be in the two situations at one time. So I'm working and at the same time, I'm studying as a law student. There are a lot of problems po na pwede nyo pong ma-meet along the way. And majority of my classmates po, they are also working students. So, though there are some like mga less than 10 na mga full-time law students, here the rest of us are already working. I've talked to them and we share some sentiments, especially na pag-discuss na sa mga oras and everything. So, we'll be discussing that one today. Let's start! First po, ang first po na pinaka-struggle ko ngayon is yung oras. Time management. O kaya sa scheduling. Isa sa mga struggle ko ngayon po is time. Until now po, I'm still struggling with time and schedule and time management and everything. Anything about time, I still have a problem about that. Why? Because ako po ay isang full-time na employee. I am a full-time teaching professional subjects. So yung oras ko po sa work is from 8 to 5. But since may mga days, like twice a week, may mga classes ako na starts at 7.30 in the morning and end by 4.13 in the afternoon. I still have to, I have to render like at least 8 hours a day para sa work ko. And after that one, kailangan ko naman dumiretso sa law school for my classes. There are a lot of things talaga na hindi ko pa kaya i-divide, hindi ko pa kaya i-manage until now and that is time. Sa mga kaklase ko din po, I have like some of my classmates, they like take absences sa law school because din po sa kanilang mga trabaho. Because some of them are sent siguro to go somewhere for training or for to be a representative of their branch or something like that. Tapos may mga kaklase din ako ng mga teachers who will be sent to some other parts of the Philippines para sa mga trainings and mga seminars ganun. Buti na nga lang sa part ko, um, I'm a college instructor and wala pa naman masyadong ganyan. Di tulad ng mga 2 years ago or like a year ago na pag may mga seminars, mga trainings, usually ako yung pinapadala ng office kasi ako lang po yung bata sa mga faculty namin. So ako lang yung parang madali na lang hugutin tapos ipadala sa mga seminars and training. But thank God for the past months and for this sem, wala pa naman akong mga work related na mga travels. Pag nagkaka ganun, medyo mahirap din yung sa time i-divide. Because sa law school din, if you don't know, meron din kasi yung mga allowable na mga number of hours before ka madrop sa law school. Speaking of time, nahirapan pa rin ako na i-divide yung mga oras ko until now. Though, for that 8 hours na sa trabaho, I always use that one for the trabaho. Tapos pag yung pang law school ko talaga is from 4.30 hanggang ngayon sa gabi. I'm still struggling for that. Sa studies, nagsistruggle ako pa paano mag-insert ng studies sa work. I still find it hard how to manage my study time, my study habit, especially that I'm working 8 hours a day. Tapos, may 3 hours ako na klase sa law school a day. So, nahirapan pa na kung kusan ko i-insert yung study. Sabihin nyo, baka pwede naman after law school. 8.30, you can have your studies and for the rest of the night, you can still study for that one. But I tell you po, if you're a college instructor, hindi po madali na mag-study ka during the night because you still have to prepare for your lessons, for my lessons, sa classes ko the next morning. Yung sa iba, sa inyo, siguro, if you'll be working in an office or siguro in a firm or whatever, yung hindi kailangan na mag-study ka o mag-prepare ka for your work the following day, siguro that will be an advantage for you. Kasi wala kang kailangang i-prepare. Especially if we have teachers who are also law students, you can relate to this one. You will have to prepare for your lessons the following day. If you're a teacher pa for a public school or high school or elementary, di ba parang may lesson plan pa kayong na kailangang i-prepare? Yun yung mga mahirap talaga if you are a law student tapos a full-time na employee. May mga work din naman na walang problema sa time. Kasi after law school, pwede na silang mag-study for the rest of the night. Because wala silang kailangan i-prepare for the next morning. For example, I have my classmates who are in line with the medical na field. I have medtech na mga classmates. I have nurses na classmates na nasa law school ngayon. So, I think they don't have anything to prepare for their work the next morning kasi wala naman sila kailangan i-prepare na injection or whatever, di ba? Yun, pag ganun siguro, if your work is something like that na walang kailangan i-prepare, then I think that will be good for you. You'll be no problem with time management or the scheduling. 
Next, next example na struggle ko as a working student, working law student is money. Yes, I am working, uh, I'm working student, meaning meron po akong sahod every 15th and saka 30th of the month. Yes, given na po yan na may sahod ako. Kaya lang po, I still have this struggle po sa when it comes to money. If you were able to watch some of my past videos, law school po is a very expensive and very extravagant po na course. Sa tuition, kailangan mong bayaran ng tuition, tapos sa books, sa supplies, hindi pa kasama yung mga photocopies dun, hindi pa kasama yung mga notebooks. Yes po, sa law school po, ang dami nyo pong kailangan na notebooks. For your case brief, hindi kaya dun sa mga case digest. Photocopies, kailangan pa during the exam, tapos lately pa, the, the department has decided to use like a new uniform, so I had to pay for my new uniform pa. Ang dami dami kailangan bayaran po sa law school. My struggle now is where to get the resources for all the expenses that I have for law school, as well as for my personal life. If you don't know po, I'm also paying for some bills here sa bahay. I have pa a car na I have to pay a month in two months. Matatapos na din siya. So, thank God. My point is, ang dami daming kailangan kong bayaran po. Especially that I'm working and I'm studying sa law school. If you are a breadwinner pa po, well, thank God I'm not a breadwinner po sa family. So, hindi masyadong ganun yung karami na no, iniisip. Ang iniisip ko lang po is yung kailangan kong bayaran sa sakyan, tapos sa law school, tapos yung personal needs ko. Eh, paano pa po? Pag ikaw, if you are the breadwinner of your family, di ba? You still have to think of what you're going to eat, to think for the groceries sa bahay, di ba? So, ang dami pong kailangan pong isipin financially if, if you are a law student and an employee. Yun din, guys, I still have to like feed my dog. I have seven dogs right now. So, I have to pay for the feeds, tapos sa vaccinations. So, ang dami pong kailangan bayaran. So, yun yung isa sa mga struggles ko talaga, yung sa finances. Nahiya din naman akong humingi ng pera from my ate, hindi kaya from my parents. So, yun talaga. If you're a working law student, yes, you have the money. You have to use that money for a lot of things. That will be one of your struggles talaga, yung money. Tapos guys, of course, we have all our needs, di ba? We have some need other than other than the food, other than... We also need to pay for our, di ba? Some of our wants. For example, I wanted to eat like a cake for today. How can I manage that one if, if I no longer have the money? If I already paid the money sa tuition, o di kaya sa car, o di kaya sa iba pa nang kailangan ko pambayaran. Most of the time, di na ako nakapunta ng mga coffee shop, di na ako nakakabili ng mga milk tea or whatever, those things, because wala na pong pera. And nakakahiya humingi. Pag may nakita kayong mga law student na, for example, nasa Starbucks or nasa mga coffee shops, then siguro, they have like more like resources for those things. They have extra money for those things. And siguro, may mga savings pa sila. And siguro naman, wala silang ganoon karami na kailangan bayaran. So, I really want to be like those people, like those students na carefree. Like, they will just focus on the on the readings, on the cases. Wala sa inisip na ibang babayaran or kung saan kukuha ng pera. Ganon. Yun yung struggle ko po sa money. Next po is energy. If you are a working law student, then you will also experience this one. For the entire day, from 8 to 5 in the afternoon, you'll be using your entire body for your work, di ba? Buti na nga lang po sa work ko is, hindi ako nabubuhat ng mabibigat or wala masyadong physical na effort na kailangan. I will just stand in front of my class and we'll just talk and discuss anything or whatever. And there are times also na gumagamit ako ng PowerPoint, videos or whatever, any presentation po. It will not require my energy po, the entire energy. Buti na lang may ganun. So, there are times na kahit nasa klase ako, nakaupo lang ako, tapos nagdi-discuss, in-explain ko anong nasa video, anong nasa mga photos. So pag ganun, ayos lang. But most of the time po talaga is nakatayo ako sa front ng klase ko. Tapos may mga errands pa, kailangan punta ng ibang office o ibang building. Dahil yung may mga process ako na nasa ibang building, so you have to walk. Tapos may mga stairs pa. The entire day, I am consuming my entire body for my work. Tapos after 5 or 4.30 in the afternoon, I still have to proceed to the law school kung saan ako nag-aaral. I have to drive and like it's very exhausting po talaga if you are a working student so that will be one of your problems pag nasa law school ka na if you are planning to go to law school and if you are working if you are planning to, to like be a working law student you will be losing a lot of energy you will be consuming a lot of energy for that day so there will be longer days there will be those like the hard days nga kailangan mo talagang more energies but thankful naman ako na so far though I am experiencing this physically na parang draining ng mga activities for the entire day napansin ko naman that I'm still serving May mga times nga po na tinatanong ko yung mga ibang klase ko, especially those full-time students, because they're not experiencing the, the drain talaga ng energy. Because nasa bahay lang sila the entire day, they have all the luxury of time. They can study whenever they want, tapos nakahiga lang sila sa bahay, parang ganun. Tapos sinisip ko, wow, parang ang sap siguro ng ganun, na wala kang ibang pinagagamitin ng energy. If you'll be in, the, in law school talaga, it's very demanding. Kasi hindi naman siya demand sa physical mo na, no? It will demand more on your, on your mind, on your... But I tell you, pag masyadong gamit po yung brain nyo sa law school, it will brain your entire body talaga. 
Next po. Next po na struggle ko na po is share is about memory. Yung memory po sa utak. If you'll be a working student po, you will find it difficult. Ako ha, personal, this is my personal experience. I find it difficult to like absorb like things sa klase ko po sa law school because parang yung brain ko po is parang puno na yung brain ko for the entire day na activity. Ang dami kong iniisip for my work, ang dami kong iniisip for my job, for my classes, for my students. Tapos, pagdating ko pa sa law school, may isipin pa ako ng mga kailang basahin, mga anong kailang gawin. Di ba nabagit ko sa mga past videos ko that we are to memorize like provisions sa constitutions. So, ang dami kong iniisip. I'm not really sure uh, if this is applicable to everyone, especially now that I'm I'm old enough or I'm mature enough. I believe po na this has something to do with my work as a working law student. For the entire day po kasi, I am using my brain, my my utak for my work, especially that I'm a college instructor, di ba? Kailangan ko po mag-prepare ng mga exams sometimes, mga quizzes. I have to study for my classes, for my discussions, and I have to memorize some terms, especially that I'm teaching professional subjects. We're using technical terms a lot of times sa, sa subject na tinuturo ko ngayon sa school. So I have to memorize a lot of things. That's why, pagdating ko po sa law school, later that day, parang yung brain ko is very used na po. Parang gamit na gamit na yung brain ko for the entire day. And di ba nasabi ko po sa last, sa mga previous videos ko, that if you'll be a law student, you'll be memorizing a lot of things. You have to absorb a lot of things if you're a law student. You have to memorize provisions, familiarize cases. You have to memorize the facts sa mga cases because there will be receipts for, for some classes. May mga times po talaga na, however, I will try to memorize a provision talaga hindi siya pumapasok sa brain ko. I'm not saying that this is applicable for everyone. There are some na mga trabaho siguro will not require your entire memory, then your entire brain. So, I think that will be good for you. So, yun guys, please be fair for this because, of course, sa law school, you'll be using the, your entire brain, di ba? Next, I think this will be my last na struggle na i-discuss ko sa inyo for today. So, last will be my social life. When I say social life, it does not mean na sa social networks, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa Instagram, sa YouTube, whichever. So, hindi ganun guys. My point is, I'm losing my connections with my friends, even to my family. Bakit? Kasi nga, I'm working the entire day, tapos nasa law school naman ako pag gabi na. Pag uwi ko sa bahay, tulog na some of my siblings, tapos wala na kumabutan sa bahay na, na pwede kong makapagkwentuhan. Parang ganun. So, I'm losing my connection to everybody. Even sa school po, my workmates, I find it difficult na po to like stay with them for like a good 30 minutes to talk like about anything about sa Philippines or sa current events. I don't even talk about balita na with them because nga po, pag may nakikita ako na opportunity sa work, I'm gonna use it to like create and memorize provisions. So I'm losing my social life with my co-workers and dito po sa bahay. Yung mga, mga kaibigan ko po, because I'm losing na po time to go to the gym so wala na rin po akong time makibagbanding sa mga barkata ko po. Sa mga classmates ko po sa high school. I'm losing everything po. Of course, if you're a senior na law student, you'll be saying na, oh, you'll find the time. You're just exaggerating everything. Yes, siguro, baka po, I'm just exaggerating everything. Because, until now, hindi pa ako nakuha ng tamang management for everything in my life. So, work, sa studies, sa social life, sa social networks, and everything. And I'm telling you, siguro, mababaguhan ka. You'll be culture shock if you'll be in law school na because you'll be losing your time with your friend. Last night po, or yesterday, was the only time after a long time that I was able to spend a good time with a group of people. But you know what? I was spending that time with my classmate pa rin. So law school related pa rin yung ginagawa namin. Because we had a group na gathering and we, we had to prepare our reviewers for our incoming na midterms. So yun lang yung pinaka social life ko for now. Yung mga group gatherings with my classmates na nasa labas ng law school. Pumunta kami ng coffee shop tapos dun kami gumawa ng mga reviewers. Dun kami nagtranscribe ng mga recordings namin during the class. Then we discuss some of the topics that some of us weren't able to understand talaga during the class. So yun, yun na yung pinaka-communication ko with other people. Yung mga people na on my age, parang ganun. So yun na yung pinaka-social life ko ngayon. Again, if you'll be a working law student, you'll be missing also your life with other people. So you have to prepare for that. You have to say goodbye to your friends for now, for a while, if you'll be deciding to go to law school. Okay guys, so yun lang siguro for now, the struggles that I can share to you. So those were 5 struggles that I gave earlier. I just hope na may, na may nakuha kayo sa video ko ngayon. And if you did, then please let me know. Just write that one below. 
And also, if you have questions po about me or about my work or about law school, anything, please also comment that one below because I really love reading your comments. Though there are times siguro hindi ako makapag-reply because uh, hindi ako na-notify mins minsan tapos hindi din ako na-online minsan. But I really love replying. Uh, generally, I really love replying to your comments po. And also, if, uh, if you want me to do something in my next videos, if you have any suggestions po for my next videos, please comment that one below. And yes, uh, I have my social networks here. My Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook. I have a page. My email po. So please, kayo na po bahala. If you want to contact me or anything, if you want to message me, give me give me a DM, then you can follow me in my social network accounts. Again, if you find this one very uh, interesting, please give it a thumbs up and you can share this video also to your classmates sa law school or sa mga friends nyo po na gustong mag law school. If you're new to this channel, please again, don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe or Again, just simply click that click here in a circle just on my corner. So, thank you guys and I will see you in my next video.